Hello guys, Shuckle King here for my round of 32 uh, team analysis and game for Brawl for All round 4 against Mayo. Uh, as you can see in the corner there, his team is Reuniclus, Lando T with Z moves, Melodic, Ferrothorn, Mega Gallade, Kiram, Lucky Lucky, and Skuntank. Uh, now, looking at this matchup, Reuniclus is a great, great matchup uh, with its uh, Magic Guard ability. I can't really toxic stall the uh, Reuniclus, and I don't have a lot of moves that can hit it particularly hard. I do have Scolipede with Megahorn, but that's not going to kill unless I get a Sword Stands up. Uh, same with Miss Magius. Uh, I can't kill that with a Shadow Ball unless I get a Nasty Plot up. And Reuniclus can do a lot of damage, whether it's a Thunder Wave or Psychic them to do a ton of damage in return. And uh, they have a lot of answers, like Miss Magius, he has a... Uh, Scun Tank to take care of and Skullipede, uh, Lando T is a pretty hard counter to that, as well as Ferrothorn. Uh, so Reuniclus is going to be a huge problem for this team. Uh, other than that, Lando T is a threat that it always is, but Celestila handles it extremely well, as well as Donphan. Uh, Melodic can be annoying, especially if it's uh, uh, max physically defensive with uh, Flame Orb. That can be annoying, uh, but Mega Venusaur handles that with no problems, even with uh, Scald Burned. Um, and the rest of this team I have answers for, I feel like. I faced Mega Gallade and Lando T already, so I feel like I'll be okay to handle the Mega Gallade. Um, Licky Licky and Skunk Tank, I'm not sure if either of them are going to come. Uh, Skunk Tank is his only hazard removal, so he might want to bring that, because I do have a Skull of P to potentially hazards deck. Uh, but Licky Licky doesn't do a whole lot in general, just besides being bulky. Uh, so looking at his team, I figured Celestelia would have essentially the ability to 1v1 his team except Reuniclus and Lucky Lucky. Uh, I could lead seed to Lucky Lucky so it's not going to do a whole lot but I'm not going to be doing a whole lot to it either. Uh, and Reuniclus I can't do a whole bunch to just because I don't have any uh, setup moves besides beast boosts uh, so I'm not going to have probably the opportunity to get the plus one attack or plus one special attack so Reuniclus is going to be hard to take down. Uh, but I can Z move the Melodic with Grass, Z move Fly with Gallade, can run Hidden Power Ice for Landorus, uh, a Fire move for Ferrothorn, so I pretty much take on the rest of his team otherwise with that. Miss Magius, because his team, besides a, uh, besides Mega Gallade and like a Scarfed Lando T, is not too fast of a team, so Miss Magius is very nice in that regards. He has a Skun Tank that, uh, handles it extremely well. Uh, but if I get around that, which I should be able to based on the other pokes I have on my team, it's Magius should do pretty well. And Dragonite can basically win at plus one, plus one, depending on what moves I run. I probably won't have coverage for everything on his team, and like Acid Armor Reuniclus would also be annoying. But Dragonite, I feel like, can have a pretty good matchup here. Uh, so the team that I have, the first Pokemon I have is Celesteela. I feel like you basically almost always want to bring Celesteela if you have it on your team. Uh, interesting set with leftovers, uh, max special attack, enough speed to speed creep a uh, melodic, and the rest in uh, HP with metal sound, giga drain, air slash fire blast. Now, uh, spoilers, I'm gonna have spikes and toxic spikes in this team later on, so metal sound should be uh, forcing a lot of switches. It also gives me like a cheeky way to get a plus two special attack with Celestela by forcing the minus two special defense in the Pokemon like a uh, Reuniclus. I can Metal Sand as it goes for a Calm Mind, if it's Calm Mind with only Psychic, then I can um, out boost it in that way with Celesteela, and I do a lot of damage with Air Slash or Recover, my HP with Giga Drain, which will be nice for the Melodic, and the Atlanta T, and the Fire Blast is for the Ferrothorn. Uh, the next Pokemon I have is Miss Magius with enough speed to outspeed a... Uh, to outspeed a max speed Kiram, that's what it was, yep. Uh, with Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, Dazzling Gleam, and Mystical Fire. Um, Shadow Ball hits its team pretty hard except for uh, Lucky Lucky and Skuntank. For uh, Lucky Lucky, I have Dazzling Gleam, which is not going to hit it too hard, maybe like 40th percent, even at plus two. But um, hopefully, with Toxic Spice in the field, I should be pressuring it enough. Dazzling Gleam also hits the Kiram pretty hard. Mystical Fire is there for the Ferrothorn. Uh, I gotta get away to kill the Skun Tank first. But Gosium Z is there, so uh, uh, the Mega Galley doesn't do as much damage with Knockoff. And Gosium Z can kill Reuniclus from full, as opposed to like 70% that Shadow Ball normally does. 
Next I have Dragonite with enough speed to outspeed max speed Mega Gallade. Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch. Thunder Punch to hit the uh, Melodic card somewhat hard, I guess. I, I would assume it does like 40-ish percent at plus one, assuming he's going to run max HP, max defense with a uh, Flame Orb. Uh, Dragon Claws to hit his team really hard in general. Uh, Ice Punch is there for the Landorus T. I have Muscle Band. I really didn't need an item, I guess, per se, so I just figured a little bit increase in a physical attack would be nice, and it gives me a better roll to kill the Mega Gallade with Dragon Claw at plus one than with only Stealth Rocks up than without the Muscle Band. I don't hit the Ferrothorn with this set, besides, I guess, Ice Punch, but it's made use until Steel had Fire moves, so I feel like I should be okay. Don Fan is here, max HP, max defense. Uh, Ice Shard really only hit the Lando T, and I, I guess Mega Gallade gets two out of hand and has a Sword Stance up if it's very low HP. Whereas a couple uh, close combat drops with defense, uh, Ice Shard should be able to pick it off. Earthquake for general damage, otherwise, Stealth Rock Rapid Spin. Uh, I want to get enough chip on like a Scarf Lando T or a Mega Gallade, get enough chip on that so I can revenge kill it later with the next Pokemon I have. Which is Skullipede with Toxic Spice Spikes, Mega Horn, Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I have enough speed to outspeed again to Mega Gallade and rest in bulk. The uh, attack is there to, uh, the still to it KOs the Mega Gallade and the Reuniclus with Mega Horn. Hidden Power Ice does like 35 ish percent to the Lando T, but that was the hardest hitting move I have on it. So that would be nice in some instances there. Uh, toxic Spike and Spikes to uh, rack up. His team with hazards, he doesn't have the best hazard removal, which is Gun Tank, though I don't know if he'll bring it per se. Uh, a Toxic Spice would be really nice for the Melodic if I go for sp uh, Toxic Spice before he gets a Flame Orb off, and I do 12% or uh, Toxic Damage as opposed to just Burn Damage. Uh, and Spikes would be nice to wear down the Ferrothorn, wear down the Mega Gallade even more, so it's easier for Dragonite to sweep the end. And the last Pokemon I had, it's Mega Venusaur, which it honestly is not going to do a whole lot this game. Uh, its main purpose is to really wall the Akirum, which can be a little bit of a problem otherwise. The uh, couple games before Cryogon was a little bit of an issue. Akirum could be an issue as well, but Mega Venusaur should be able to handle it with no problems. Uh, max HP, max special defense essentially, a little bit of speed, and maybe speed creep and melodic. Uh, I don't have much speed on there, and it doesn't make too much of a difference if I outspeed it or not, to be honest. But it would be nice to add speed, so uh, I can Giga Drain before he recovers. Uh, but the moves are pretty standard, and Hidden Power fires there to hit the Ferrothorn. Uh, so let's see how this team does in the match. Alright, here for the match against Mayo. And as we can see on this team, he has no hazard removal, so no Skun Tank. Uh, so that's very nice for my Skull P to get uh, Toxic Spikes and Spikes up, Toxic Spice. With the Gallade, Melodic, and the Licky Licky, so that'll be cool. Uh, he also does not have the Kyurem, so Mega Venusaur does not have as big of a use at all in this matchup. Uh, it's really only there to uh, handle the Ferrothorn, and I guess it also handles the Melodic okay. Actually handles it pretty well, uh, so I guess Venusaur is somewhat useful in this matchup. But uh, from what I can see here, I feel like Dragonite can do pretty well if he gets a plus one up and I eliminate... The yeah, Ferrothorn, uh, but my priority is to get up hazards and make sure I can kill the Reuniclus. Uh, so I'm going to lead off with my Skullipede because it now has removal again. I can take any hit from Lantern because I'm bulkier and I can get a Toxic Spike right away. Can't do anything about it. Go through the Earthquake. From that damage, he is a Jolly uh, Lando T, so that's good to know. I'm going to switch out into uh, my Physical Wall and Don Fan, which should be able to take this hit pretty well. Only does 30%. And from here, I can get my rocks up pretty freely. Yes, that invites the Ferrothorn to come in to do the same, but I'm okay with that because I can get my uh, rocks away, I feel like, at some point later on. Uh, so I go in my Venusaur here and uh, go for Hidden Power Fire just to tweaken his Ferrothorn as much as possible. Get a nice bit of chip off. Uh, I think the spread shows he has some special defense investment, but not max. Uh, so here... Might as well go for Hidden Power Fire, no reason not to. We'll get a hit off on anything no matter what. Uh, based on that damage, is more of a special defensive Licky Licky. He goes for the rest here, uh, and he's Chesto. So, very interesting uh, Licky Licky set. Uh, I go for the Sludge Bomb, hopefully get the poison, I do not. 
Uh, so I don't want whatever shenanigan to happen to go here. So I go to my Don Fan just to uh, get rid of the rocks, and then I can go into my Dragonite or whoever I deem necessary, maybe my Celesteela, uh, and deal decent damage to it. Uh, so he doesn't do a whole lot even at plus one. Get a good amount of chip off to bring in about 50%. Uh, bring in my Celesteela, assuming he can't hurt me too badly. And uh, right here I'm going to reveal the tech I had in this match, which was Metal Sound. Uh, my Air Slash is going to do over half to the uh, Licky Licky of this range. Or about half. Uh, so he's forced to uh, to retreat and go into his Ferrothorn. I'm assuming he has a uh, move on Licky Licky to hit my uh, Celesteela with, because he's not going to run a uh, Sleep Talk just to return when I have a Celesteela. So he brings in my Lando, because I know it's Jolly, I can live any hit, even his E move, pretty easily. And I flash one special attack, I would have damaged this as much as possible. So Continental Crush hurts, but my Giga Drain also hurts it to the point where I can still uh, defeat the Landers here. But I don't want to weaken my Celesteela, because it's main answer for every Unix list, and even a Licky Licky in this matchup. So I'm okay with Miss Mages getting. Uh, Damaged as long as it's not dead, obviously. Um, so no reason for me not to try to kill what's in front of me here, which was Landris. Uh, Licky Licky comes out, which is fine. It's just free leftovers recovery for my Celestila. A switch in. He makes a double into a Gallade, which was a fine play. Uh, he gets his Mega up now, and he most likely can take me out with a close combat on my Celestila. So I'm going to go on my Don Fan just to get as much chip off as possible on this. Uh, so I do go down here. But I do bring it down to about 50th percent or so. So what I do here is bring in a Scolipede because at minus one defense I am going to kill with the uh, Mega Horn. So again, no reason not to attack what's in front of me here. I damage this whole team with the hazards I'd have up. Uh, the damage here shows that it's a max defensive Melodic uh, with Marvel Scale, so I'm fine with that. Go into uh, my Mega's Minus work because Melodic shouldn't be able to do a whole lot to me. Uh, this crit is actually a little bit annoying, uh, just because if he's a Sword Stance uh, Landorus T, Sword Stance Landorus T at plus 2 could knock me out with an Earthquake, uh, based on the damage I'm at, and if he didn't get a crit, he couldn't knock me out, where it would have been a very, very high roll, so it made a, makes a little bit of a difference potentially later on in the game, so we'll see. Uh, but I'm assuming he's going to go for the recovery here, so I have a free switch my Celesteela, where I can metal sound or just uh, giga drain this. Uh, and I do add speed the melodic. I had the speed creep in there to outspeed melodic, which was very nice. He didn't outspeed my speed creep. Uh, so I'm able to 2 KO this. Uh, he gets to burn, which is very unfortunate. Um, I guess in the end of this, I would be 12% HP higher, so I would be pretty close to full HP now, as opposed to uh, only at 87%. Uh, so Mega Gallade comes in. I can kill it right now unless I miss an Air Slash. But again, I don't want this weakened, so I want to make sure I can handle Reuniclus with this set. So I'm sacking off my Mega Venusaur, which, again, didn't really do much in this matchup besides handle the Kyurem. And in this match, it handles the uh, Ferrothorn and Melodic pretty okay. Uh, it doesn't really handle everything else in this team that well. So I'm going to sack it off. He misses the Zen Headbutt, but fortunately I get paired there. I'd, that'd be a little sucky on his behalf. Especially with all the hacks that's been against me this tournament. So that's fine that he uh, kills me even though he loses 12% of HP that he wouldn't have lost otherwise. So because of that and because of the special defense drop, I can kill with a Hidden Power Ice here. That's what I go for. It would be cool if I got a Hidden Power Ice kill with Skullipede. Uh But I do not. At this point, I probably, I probably should have gone for a Spike. Uh, so that way the Mega Gallade is dead. But... I don't do that. Instead, I go into my uh, Celesteela and want to get a Metal Sound off on this Licky Licky just in, just in case it gets a little too out of hand, though I don't feel like it should. Uh, so I get the Metal Sound off, and he reveals to have the Fire Punch, and that does not do a ton of damage at all. Um, but I figured he would have a move to hit the Celesteela otherwise. So I'm going to Giga Drain here to get a little bit of HP back. Uh, before I do kill him on the next hit with an Air Slash. So I'm in very good shape right now. He has a Mega Gallade at very low, Landorus at under half, and Reunicus at full. But between my Celesteela, Miss Magus, with Shadow Bulb, Scolipede, I should be in okay shape. Um, so I do decide to sack the Scolipede. Uh, assuming he was going to go for a close combat, goes for the Zen Headbutt, 
good prediction. It doesn't matter a ton in the end. Uh, just because, honestly, my Miss Magus can win the matchup here. Um, so he goes in the Reunix list. I'm going to go for the Ghost DMZ Shadow Ball. Even if he predicts this and goes into a Landorus T. If I, even if I did give it a Shadow Ball, I'd do like 70-ish percent. And I don't think he could uh, Calm Mind and beat Miss Magus at that point. Uh, so I do end up winning this match here 3-0. I feel like pretty convincingly. So uh, good game, Mayo. And uh, hope I can contain this success in the next matchup. Uh, so later, guys.